how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CFO of Straight Up Resources, Daniel Cruz. How are you doing today, Daniel? Hey, Rich. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. And um, yeah, look forward to it. Hey, my pleasure. Excited to learn more about you and your company today. And I have a few questions for you, Daniel. Maybe we can start off and you can tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Straight Up Resources. Uh, definitely, Rich. So, um, you know, I don't know the, the total audience uh, age segment, so I'm going to go way back. Um, I was gravitated to the stock market when I was actually a teenager. So I started trading stocks, equities, uh, small cap companies, actually when I was like 16 years old. And um, I was always drawn to the markets. And that led me to going to college for economics in uh, Arizona. And my first job out of college was actually uh, joining an investment bank called Canaccord Genuity. Oh, yes. Uh, up here in Canaccord or up here in Canaccord in Canada, it's uh, the largest uh, independent investment bank in Canada. It now has a global footprint. I worked there for just under a decade and then moved over to another broker dealer called Mackey Research. And... I left the brokerage industry selling my book to my business partner about five years ago, four and a half years ago. And I co-founded another tech company that ended up uh, trading on NASDAQ and um, have since moved away from that company to get back into mining um, because from a cycle standpoint, I believe the time is now. So my history has been really always actually in the public markets, small cap markets and financing small cap companies. Fantastic. And we love small cap companies here. And you recently announced that the company uplisted to the OTCQB under the symbol STUPF. Can you tell us what some of the milestones are that you guys have hit in 2021 for straight up resources? And what are some of the things that shareholders have to look forward to in 2022? Yeah. So, you know, given my background um, is in financing junior mining companies, um, you know, I noticed an opportunity here in Canada and specifically the Red Lake region. So our OTC QB listing is a step towards opening up the audience and opening up the story to U.S. investors. And we are a, a very small junior company. Um, based out of Canada here with uh, exploration assets in Red Lake District and a new asset in Nevada in the U.S. So what we have done during 2021, we just IPO'd right kind of before COVID slash at COVID. Um, so we're a very new company. And over 2021, what we were doing is compiling data on our Red Lake projects um, the Canadian mining system has a very standard and procedural 43101 process. So we were doing your standard chip samples, soil samples, doing mag magnetic surveys, airborne and on the ground. And we are compiling that data in order to attract drill targets. So what investors can look forward to in 2022 will be further results on our land package in the Red Lake District. Fantastic. We can't wait to see those results. Daniel, can you tell us about the management at Straight Up Resources, especially their past successes in the public markets and mining? Uh, yes, definitely. So I guess I'll start with myself. Um, you know, as I touched on earlier in the show, um, you know, I financed... Um, probably a couple hundred junior um, companies uh, over the past 15 years. Um, if, I, if I took a stab at it, I guess I would say over $100 million worth of financings uh, in, in junior mining companies. Um, the most recent company I co-founded uh, did uh, get to NASDAQ. It's still on NASDAQ. And um, the team around me um, is more specific in geology. So you know, myself, I've been in the capital markets. I've been an investment advisor at, at broker dealers. I've, um, you know, been a co-founder myself, put my own money into these junior companies, uh, but I'm not a geologist. So we're very fortunate to have a great team 
in geology that has taken mines in production, which has managed considerable budgets, and in particular has a lot of knowledge in the Red Lake district. Um, so I won't fully name drop at the moment, but if you did look through some of our disclosure statements, um, we do have some prominent, um, you know, prospector of the year type geologists who have sold us some of these mining assets in Red Lake um, that do have success of uh, discovering ore bodies. So I'm very fortunate to work with a very good geological team. Uh, some of them are on our advisory board, which people can look at on the website. And then some of them are, you know, consultants in the background that are really like boots on the ground and working very hard in the Red Lake District and have committed their lives to the Red Lake District. And a couple of our other board members um, also have public markets experience. So um, we think we have a very well-rounded team, but we are a junior small team starting now. Now you recently announced the closing of a second tranche of 2 million in financing. Can you talk a little bit about what these funds will be used for? Uh, definitely, Rich. So, you know, with these junior mining companies, um, they're very capital extensive to, you know, build your story. So uh, I sometimes like to think about a bit of a ladder. Um, in, in a perfect world, you know, your share price is, is going to be based on a ladder, you know, going upwards. And you're going to be able to fund exploration based on a success. So um, we are a small company. We have uh, just IPO within COVID. And, um, you know, we're putting a couple million dollars to work uh, in exploration. So some of these airborne surveys, some of these magnetic surveys um, can be quite expensive in the six figure uh, realm uh, per airborne flight. Um, we do have quite a large uh, land package in Red Lake in a few different distinct zones. So we are spending um, some of our money in Red Lake We've just acquired a property in uh, Nevada, which we will be spending further exploration. And we are now actually even looking to Peru um, with a silver asset through an exclusivity deal we just announced. So we are trying to spend our money in the ground exploring these three districts. If straight up resources were to compare itself to competitors in the mining sector, what would you say sets you guys apart? So what, what's been very lucky is, you know, Red Lake is a very prominent uh, district in Canada for mining, um, but there's been a major discovery over the past few years uh, with another uh, publicly traded company called Great Bear Resources. And we were very lucky. And of course, it's more than luck because our geological team prior to myself had the foresight of acquiring very strategic land in the Red Lake District, which, which actually borders uh, contiguous with one of Great Bear's projects. Um, you know, I wanna be straightforward that, you know, the flagship mother, mothership project of Great Bear is in Red Lake, it's near us, but their second big land play is what we're contiguous to. So that is one thing that separates us from most junior mining companies, we, we are literally bordering with Great Bear Resources. Um, you know, close isn't good enough for mining. Uh, that, that's only one factor. Um, but what I think has actually been the biggest news um, over the last two weeks is Barrick Gold, um, which people may know is actually, I believe by market cap, probably the largest gold company in the world. Um, has just made three acquisitions uh, in the Red Lake District. Wow. And coincidentally, they've invested in two junior companies that are very similar to us in size, like very similar. Mm -hmm. And actually one of those is, is on our border also. Wow. So what, what's very unique is strategically, we've been fortunate to acquire a land package that is actually beside um, some major companies. And there's going to be money going into the ground in the district, which we may get lucky on and learn more about the geology of the district without even spending our own money. So we, we've been very fortunate to be in the right place at the right time. And of course, we are a junior company. We want to spend money on exploring this. 
but um, we would have a budget of Barrick to <laughs> really explore it. However, you know, we're fortunate to now be um, part of the same group of companies in the region having the expertise of Barrick. So that's really our unique opportunity at the moment that we're very strategic placed with our land position. And, um, you know, we're, we're literally contiguous with two uh, major companies. Well, with mining, it's just like real estate, location, location, location. Sounds like you guys are in the right place at the right time. Can you go through the capital structure of straight up resources? Our community really likes to understand the fundamentals of the companies that they invest in. So in knowing that, if we understand the capital structure that helps us understand where the company's at, if it's tightly held. And can you also explain how you plan to attract more institutional investors alongside more retail investors? Uh, definitely, yeah. So, you know, again, I, I have a lot of experience in, in the capital markets um, world, you know, I, in specific with these nano caps. So, you know, the, the capital stack of these uh, junior mining companies is usually quite often, um, you know, maybe penny stock isn't the, the best word for people to hear, but, you know, we're a penny stock. And, you know, a little bit about that ladder, um, we have financed um, on the on the way up. We're I, I've actually the stock price today escaped me, but um, we're doing a financing at twenty cents. So um, we've raised money at lower valuations, and our total shares of standing at the moment are about forty four million shares, common okay. shares. Um, we are actually in the process of doing this financing, as you touched on, which is at twenty cents Canadian with a half warrant at 30 cents. Um, the shares have traded above 30 cents, um, but that's kind of our range from obviously starting at not quite zero, but um, below 20 cents, working our way up. And we've raised about $4 million uh, in total to date. And right now really is our largest single raise uh, to date with this $2 million raise. So okay. di diving a little bit further, um, you know, we've been supported by a couple brokerage firms in town. You know, I'm I'm an investor and a shareholder, and it's primarily been, thankfully, to the retail market. So what I think we need to do now is, given hopefully some more results and some more data on our properties in Red Lake, I think we need to look at who invests in these type of junior plays. So I won't say which one of our neighbors has, you know, Eric Sprott as an investor or another legendary investor, Rob McEwen, um, who's the founder of Gold Corp, but there actually is some very high profile institutional investors who are not part of our story at the moment. And if they're watching, we would love you to be part of our story. Um, but they're actually investing in some of these junior companies in Red Lake. So, I think that's definitely a target of ours. We want people to know we're in the Red Lake District. Um, we have a great land package. We're doing all we can do as an exploration junior mining company, doing the proper steps to prove that there's opportunity here. Um, but we do need to attract institutional investors so that we can do a larger drill program. So we will be looking to talk to institutional investors and tell our story and I believe the Red Lake District over the next, I mean, the cycle, you never know, and super cycle is a big word, but um, I think the Red Lake District will command a lot of attention over the next 24 months at minimum. And if Barrick and some of these other companies in the uh, vicinity have positive results, we maybe even get incoming calls from institutional investors. Wow. Now, if there was one thing that you would want people to know about straight up resources today, what would that be? I think that it's, it's built from, you know, people who have experience in the capital markets who are very knowledgeable on the geology side of the Red Lake District and are really connected to the community. Um, you know, I wish I could talk about every person that is helping us on the ground in Ontario, you know, th these hands are not for mining. So, you know, I haven't been able to, um, you know, get my hands dirty in the dirt. And we have a great team there in Red Lake who are been there, done that for 20, 30 years. But really at the moment, we're a pure play in the Red Lake district. We're a junior mining company. There's many risks with trying to prove uh, a major resource, but we're definitely a pure play at the moment for Red Lake and um, 
that's what I want people to know us by, which maps right behind us. Daniel, what is the best way for shareholders to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about straight up resources? Uh, so on our website, it's, um, we have a great young fellow, uh, younger than me, who is uh, coming up in the public markets. His name is Mick. Um, he, he's a great guy to uh, give a phone call to. Um, he's very passionate about uh, small cap stocks. He knows about this uh, company and some of his projects. Um, as people will hope to appreciate, you know, I'm not the typical CFO. Um, I do have an economics background and I have worked in the capital markets, but I'm not your stereotypical accountant. So um, I'm actually available to speak to investors uh, if they would like. Uh, our CEO is uh, a tireless, tireless worker who has a lot of experience on the ground. Uh, he's also very passionate about the company. And if people have some technical questions, we may be able to arrange some conversations with our geological team. So we're a small family and we're really excited about this and we're all kind of available for uh, conversation. Super excited to learn more and continue to watch your company grow and evolve. I must remind all the investors that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Small caps are very risky, but they also come with incredible upside. Past performance is not always an indication of future results. We do have an amazing track record of identifying undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities. We believe that mining stocks right now are grossly undervalued. We feel like they're starting to trend up. There's a trend reversal pattern happening with companies like Barrick Gold, companies like Kinraz Gold starting to turn around. And we feel like a lot of small caps are starting to follow suit. Thank you for joining us today. The CFO of Straight Up Resources, Daniel Cruz. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, everybody. Always a pleasure. Love to invite you back again, Daniel, if you ever have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss. And for those of you that are watching, thank you for watching, everybody. Remember, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Have a nice day, everybody. And we'll talk to you soon.